apologize for not having a video up yesterday. This is yesterday's video. Uh, Vepo and me actually like moved into our house yesterday. Actually, he moved into the house, but we were setting it up and you know moving all his stuff in, and we just kind of lost track of time. And then we were like, oh, it's five o'clock. So yeah, that's why I couldn't put up a video yesterday, and you're seeing this today. So this is a new series that I'm starting. It's called To Buy or Not To Buy. Basically, um, I buy a lot of random stuff. Okay, I buy a lot of random stuff. And I thought it would be fun to kind of like do a review series, like a mini review series of random things and tell you whether you should buy it or not buy it based on my experience reviewing it. So let's begin. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to try today are the new Maggie Hothead noodles. Now we are trying the spicy uh, chili chicken, which is not like very spicy, but it's supposed to be the second spiciest version. Now, I must admit I'm not a big Maggie fan, I prefer ramen. I would rather be a smoodle than be a noodle. Uh, I don't know if you guys know the ad. Uh, I don't think most of you know it because it was like in the 90s and I don't think people even born then. But uh, they used to have this jingle with the ad that was like, don't be a noodle, be a smoodle. If you know the jingle, comment because I still remember it. And so yeah, I prefer uh, ramen usually and I really like spicy stuff so I thought let's give it a go since a lot of you have been asking me about the noodles or saying you were challenged and do all of that let's just see if they're that spicy Ta -da! okay so the bowl is really hot I mean they are spicy but they're really not like that spicy definitely not that spicy Okay, so not that spicy. I didn't particularly like the taste either, honestly. Like, they were okay. To buy or not to buy, to buy or not to buy, to buy or not to buy. Not to buy. I'm going to say not to buy. Um, I still prefer my ramen. Then the next thing we have is this pepper spray. Uh, now, I bought this off Amazon. I bought a lot of stuff that you will see today off Amazon. Amazon is not paying me for this video, by the way. But, uh, I, I buy a lot of stuff from Amazon. Like there are these random things that pop up and you just want to buy them and you buy them. So this was one of those random things. Okay, so there are pros and cons to this thing. Now, uh, the pros are definitely that it has this opening. You know, normally with like pepper sprays, they have a normal cap like that you have to pull. And with this one, you can just stick your finger in it and spray it. I have never sprayed it. But, um, you know, so it's easy access. Like you don't have to be like, oh, where do I have to look for it? Or, or, or am I spraying it in my own eyes? No. Uh, this is pretty much spray. Um, so that's a great thing. The only problem is that it's really big. Um, I used to however have a really tiny one. Like it was this tiny. I don't think that would really work on anyone. I don't know if it would work on anyone. But nobody ever stopped me with that. You know, so that was the benefit of that. This I pretty much leave at home half the time because I'm just like, oh, no, they're gonna stop me. Check it out. Or every time I'm taking a flight, I have to take it out and you know. I tend to forget to put it back, but I do love the spraying thing, however. I've never sprayed it, but should we try it? Should we try it? Oh god, I'm scared to do this. I hope it works. Ooh, it's orange in color. So I sprayed like a really tiny dot. I don't know if you can see that, but it's orange in color. And I'm keeping it really far away from myself. Okay. <coughs> Okay, do not spray the pepper spray. <clears throat> okay, so coming to the question, to buy or not to buy? Definitely buy. Like that little dot, like my throat is still like sketchy with that little dot and it was even directed at me. So it's going to keep you safe. Buy it. The next thing I'm going to talk about are the Nykaa Matte Nail Paints. Now you guys have seen these in my favorite videos. I have a lot of shades as you can see. I have everything from the light shades to the dark shades. So what I love about them is they last for quite long. Like, you know, like, I had, uh, I don't know if you can see, I have the, the really dark ones in my tools right now. I have this really dark shade. I had a pedicure uh, before Singapore, after Singapore. Uh, I can't remember, which means it's been really, really long. And my toenails are still intact with my nail polish on. Of course, um, the madness of it tends to wear off a little bit and, and it becomes really dull after some point. But I feel like for the price, they're great matte nail polishes and they really last long. So I went on to the website to check the prices for you guys. Uh, right now they have some deals on for Diwali where you can actually buy like two for 300 and something, three for 500 and something. 
Uh, but if you buy them single, they're like $1.99 each, which I think is still great. They have everything from like dark shades to light shades. So to buy or not to buy, to buy. Up next, we have a Blue Heaven lipstick. Now, there's an interesting story behind this. You guys know I'm into like funky lipsticks and you know strange colors and bright colors. So I had actually thought of doing a video with all these funky colors that you don't really see often like you know greens, blues, yellows, all of that. And the only green green lipstick I could find online was this one which is like a weird looking green. So I thought this would be like green green when I saw it online and I was like ooh you might want to put this on. But when you put it onto your hand it is just clear. So I don't know about other Blue Heaven lipsticks, maybe these were just like lip balm -y. This was 94 rupees and um, I have never used it because of that reason because I wanted a green lipstick and here I have gotten a clear lip balm which is not what I wanted. So I would say check the pigments if you are buying Blue Heaven lipsticks or just don't buy them because um, they are not green. So to buy or not to buy not to buy. Okay, so the next thing we're going to talk about is a service. It's Amazon Prime, which is the membership that Amazon offers. Uh, they came up with it, I think, a few months ago. They currently charge you 499 rupees. So basically, what you get with your Amazon Prime membership. So you pay 499, you get early access to like lightning deals, you get free delivery on certain products that are marked with the Prime sign, you get discounted next day or same day delivery on certain products. And eventually they're going to add like video, so there's going to be Amazon video where you can have access to that as well. Now, is it worth it? Um, if you're someone like me who's always on Amazon and buying all sorts of stuff from Amazon, then yes, it's totally worth it. Like I buy random stuff like tampons and like water bottles and like a pan and all sorts of stuff from Amazon. So if you're one of those people, then totally buy this. But if you're not, then I don't think you need it. So, to buy or not to buy, I'm going to say to buy if you're a compulsive shopper on Amazon. Otherwise, not to buy. Okay, so I have to confess, I did buy the next item. It was gifted to me. Uh, it is this lovely lap desk from Not So Shabby. I will link it below if you're interested. I will link everything in the video below. Um, the reason why I'm sharing this with you is it was a gift, yes but I really really love it. So this is pretty much me. So yeah, they saw that I actually use my laptop a lot on my bed and I do not have a lap desk. So they wrote to me and said, can we send you a lap desk? And I was like, okay. And this is what arrived. What I love about it is that it has Velcro. So even if you're a person like me with OCD, you can totally like just wash the cover and put it back on. Yeah. I do not know the price of this because it was a gift, as I said, and I didn't want to ask them the price of it because you never ask anybody the price of it. But if you like it and you want to get it, that's the Check the description. And yeah, to buy or not to buy, to buy! Now the next item I'm going to talk to you guys about is my favorite from the whole list. It is my new steam iron. So again, got this off Amazon, I was randomly looking for a steam iron. Now I spent a lot of time and money on getting my clothes ironed. Uh, I hate ironing them, like physically ironing them and a lot of my clothes you cannot iron. Like you have to steam iron and then I have to give them to the laundry and it's a whole process. It's a whole process of going to the laundry and like bringing them back and you know, you guys have seen that on my Snapchat a lot of times. Um, and I've been wanting a steam iron for really long but then again the bigger ones are really bulky and you have to store them and like take them out and you know all of that. So I found this baby on Amazon for about 800 rupees. There are also cheaper versions like I've seen like these for 400 and 500 and all of that online as well like similar looking ones. So you could probably get one that's cheaper as well. Um, I initially thought it's not going to work so well because you know it's cheap, it's small. But that's what makes it so amazing. It is cheap, it is small, and it works so well. So you just gotta like open this, fill water, then you just put it on, and voila. Let me show you. You just put it on, and then it takes like a couple of minutes to fire up, and you'll start seeing steam. Steam in, and just go over the shirt. <laughs> Okay, so to buy or not 
to buy. Definitely to buy. The next thing on my list again is a service. There's a website called MyDB that offers like cleaning services for the home and things like that. So they have different packages like um, you can get a DD for like 145 rupees I think for an hour. They charge by the minute, things like that. We did try to avail of their services for the new home. Basically we wanted them to clean before we move in. And honestly, I was very disappointed. So I had a booking which was for 12.30 in the afternoon. And at 12.15 they called me and they were like, we want to cancel the booking completely. And I was like, I totally flipped out and I was like, how can you cancel? You know, where is this empty house? You want to move in tomorrow and blah, 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 blah. And uh, long story short, uh, they were like, okay, we'll send you one Didi who will be able to do the job. And I was like, what? this is not a job for one Didi. We need at least two or three people. And I had booked two people. And uh, they were like, no, no, she'll do it. She came and she was like, I definitely can't do this. There's no way I can do this. It's not a one person job. And I totally agreed with her. She left. And then I tried to get them to reschedule the service for the next day. I was like, okay, you know, if you can do this for me tomorrow, I will still be okay with this. Like, do it in the morning and then we'll move it in the afternoon. And um, they were like, we can't guarantee it until evening, which was like, I was like, so long story short. People didn't show up and then we booked someone else. Um, so to buy or not to buy, I'm definitely gonna say not to buy because of this one bad experience sadly. Sorry my lady. So that was the new series. Uh, you like it, you not like it. I don't know what English that is, but yeah. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and comment below and tell me if you want me to do more of these. Um, also comment below with more items that you'd like me to review in these, uh, the quirky and better. And uh, yeah, I enjoyed this, like I felt like I was on a show, like some kind of game show. Uh, to buy or not to buy, and uh, yeah, it's quite exciting. So yeah, if you like it, thumbs up and comment below. And hopefully we will do plenty more of these, and if you hate it, then this is the last one. See you guys, bye!